Ms. Hurd had spoken of suicide on a couple of occasions, so th that also becomes a factor. It, it, that's, that's also something that, that always lives in the back of your brain and uh, you, that you fear. Because when I would leave sometimes, I mean, well, many times when I would try to leave, she would stop me at the elevator with the security guards crying, screaming, you know, I can't live without you. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to die. But you had to get out. There, was, there were even a couple of times when I did escape and I got to my house, arrived at my house in Switzer, and then five minutes later she would arrive in the, she would arrive in her nightgown screaming in the parking lot in front of, in front of my house, screaming to high heavens. It would be four in the morning, three in the morning. It was ludicrous. It was, it was, uh, it was out of control. It was uncontrollable. 